Hey guys, uh, this is Eli coming back at you with another Retro Bowl video, and we're going to be playing two more games, uh, week five and week six of our second year with this Miami Dolphins franchise. Our first game in week five is against the Tennessee Titans, and uh, week six is against Minnesota. Uh, let's get into it. Defensive back Rodney Sipos is a free agent looking for a team. He arrives at the training facility for your assistant. Uh, dude, that is literally the worst player I've ever seen. He's a half star. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't ever do ignore find because it lowers the morale, morale more than if you just find the individual player. So, uh, let's go with away for us, I guess. Let's do uh, away for them too. Might as well, you know, whatever. And we get the ball first to start the game. Let's take it with Tyreek McGill. Oh, no. Wait, that is our old running back. But Teron Brooker. Still going? This guy better not catch us. Fit Dude, we just got a 50-yard run on our first carry of the game. I will take that. Hit him on the slant there. Easy touchdown. Two plays, 66 yards, and a touchdown. That's how you start a game. That is exactly how you start a game. I think that's the new update there that um, they implemented into the game. I guess it zooms in on the field goal there. Let's run it with our running back, Teron Brooker, again. This time, not nearly as much. Four yards. Still not, still not bad. Five this time. Not quite able to get the first down. Let's hit this guy lined up in the tight end spot right there. <laughs> 11 yards. And that's going to be a first down. Trying to hit him over the top. Oh, just a little bit overthrown. It's okay. Once once we develop our quarterback, that'll, that'll stop. As we get a 12-yard gain. And yet another first down. Let's take this run. Carry with uh, Berger, and he does not get anywhere. Two yards. Um, all right. I see him open there. Oh, God. That was a horrible throw. Uh, well, that was unfortunate. But we did get the first down with Teron Brooker. This time as a receiver out of the backfield. Let's change this play. I don't like the, how that looks. Hit him down the middle. No, we threw a pick. <sighs> okay, great. Oh, we got a fumble. Great. Fumble recovery. You love to see it. Especially to develop our defensive players. Got an 11 yard game there. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's take off with Clark Weddle. He's got pretty good speed, honestly. I mean,. He's not running these defenders like it's nothing. <laughs> he picks up a solid 10 and 1. And that was a bad estimated pass by me. My bad. Pass inside. Brooker, touchdown. Let's go. 17 yards. Receiving touchdown. He deserves a touchdown after uh, starting the game with a 50 yard run. <laughs> and wow, that's great. We just doinked an extra point. <sighs> okay. That's what, I mean, I guess that's what we get for not having a kicker. I mean, he is a kicker, but he's just a made-up person. He doesn't have a real name like Clark Weddle and Teron Brooker do. I'm not saying that they're real players either. <laughs> but, um, you get the point. Was, oh my gosh, Muhammad McTire is about to go into the end zone. 68 yards his second longest touchdown of his entire career oh, we should have gone for two there it's okay uh, still up by six as Muhammad McTire is just an absolute monster it got a 68 yard touchdown there as we almost just threw another pick should have bulleted that pass probably if we cut it outside with Brooker Pick up a solid 12 yards. We'll take that. Okay. That's it. Ooh. Wow. That was... Oh, that was very... Um, I mean, 
from the start, that was very precarious. Uh, I just thought he was going to get open there for a second. I saw a little window open, but it didn't work out. And we're not going to be able to kick a field goal from here because we don't have a kicker. Let's change our play and see if we can get this. No, we're not going to. I probably could have ran with um with uh, Clark Weddle, but no, uh, it's okay. Oh, they missed a field goal. No way, man. So it's uh, still a one-point game. We can take the lead with as much as a field goal, as less as a field goal. Five yards from Teron Brooker. I see him over the top. I see him. I see him. That's McTire. That is the number one receiver that we paid for. No, we didn't pay him. Just drafted him. 59 yards. Then he gets his second 50-plus yard reception. Almost his second 60-plus yard reception. Just a yard short of that as we pick up nine yards with somebody I don't know. Um, he is open. I mean, he's just open. I know it's not going to show in the stats, but a touchdown is a touchdown, you know? And we're going to have to go for two to make this a good, you know, clean touchdown game. And we succeed in doing that. It's now a full seven-point game. Did they just miss another field goal? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. McTire, easy money over the top. 19 yards. Burning the corners on virtually every single play. I mean, it's just uh, it's just ironic how his speed rating isn't even that high, but the defensive backs are just so bad that they keep getting burnt by him. <laughs> As we have secured a great lead here at home, dunked another extra point this time it went in. Okay, touchdown. I mean. If the game's over, come on. I mean, 43 seconds, 40 seconds, I guess. We're up by full touchdown. And they have, looks like they don't have any more timeouts left. And we don't need to stop the clock. Because we're in the lead, and we don't even want to stop the clock. McTire, easy buckets there. I'm just trying to go for another score so we can pad the stats, you know. And that happens. That is exactly what happens with Muhammad McTire at our receiver position. Almost doing that one too. 42 to 28, and that was a refreshing win for us. We're the only undefeated team in the NFL right already, just through five weeks. That is interesting. But uh, I think I'm going to be turning up the difficulty now. Seeing as, you know, we really are just an elite team, even with so, di like, these players are bad right now, they're bad, not, they're not, they're not going to be bad in a couple of years, <laughs> but, uh, still gonna go and try to defeat the Vikings here, no. Uh, Minnesota. Yeah, so, but, uh, we will, uh, check the stats from last game. I didn't forget to do that. Uh, Clark Weddle was 15 of 22 for 314 yards, 6 touchdowns, and just 1 interception. On the year, he has 69% com completion percentage. That's good. Uh, 1,640 yards. I think that's a good pace where oh, we're going at there. Excuse me. Uh, longest pass in touchdown, 76 yards. Of course, I'm Muhammad McTire. Uh, 26 passing touchdowns and three picks on the season. Awesome. And a rushing a rush for 11 yards. Teron Brooker, 11 carries for exactly 100 yards, and. Uh, no touchdowns, but still a good outing from him. On the season, he has 41 carries for 401 yards. And three can't uh, read three rushing touchdowns, with 62 being the longest. Um, uh, Teron Brooker, receiving-wise, had three receptions for 28 yards. And he did have a receiving touchdown. 
with putting him at 14 receptions for 142 yards and two receiving touchdowns on the season. Muhammad McTire had the game of his life. Eight receptions for 251 yards and four touchdowns. Just, just not what you would expect from a rookie. He's playing like a, I mean, he's playing like Randy Moss as prime. Jerry Rice, he's playing like all the great, great wide receivers basically in their prime. Clyde Bowers with five tackles. Devon Brooker with the nine tackles and a forced fumble. And that's all the players we have on our team. All right. Well, come on, Brooker. I mean, why is it that my players keep getting in trouble? Uh, but I will turn up the difficulty to hard, seeing as we are a we're a pretty good team right now. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna do that yet. I I just changed my mind on the spot there, but uh, we're still gonna stay at medium. Mm, yeah, let's go with that. Those jerseys are fine. And kick off against Minnesota in week six. See what we can cook up in this game. A little bit of Muhammad McTire. That's what I'm talking about. Two broken tackles and a 28-yard pickup. Looking to him again. Nice catch, man. That, was, that ball was going out of balance, and he's able to snatch it out of the air for a 14-yard gain. As as many yards gained by uh, Teron Brooker on another reception. Good pass by Clark Whittle as he, as Brooker that is, takes it for five yards. Ooh, he gets stuffed there. I should have just continued to run it there. Uh, like, in the same path I was going at. As a receiving touchdown for Teron Brooker, his third of the season. And that one was for three yards. Not as much padding stats for Clark Weddle, but still a passing touchdown for him, and they end up scoring on the other end of the ball. Okay, why did I just do that? Should not have cut back in there. <laughs> uh, gonna hit a McTire over the top. What else? I mean, what else are we honestly gonna do on that play? Other than hit it over to McTire over the top of the defender and get a 72-yard touchdown. His new longest touchdown of his career. We are breaking records out here. This has to be, like, the most receiving yards um, through, like, what, six games for a rookie re for a rookie receiver in NFL history. I mean, this has to be um, a record for that. McTire is just breaking every record known to man uh, that is set in stone in the NFL. I mean, he's just so good. He will be our star player moving forward. And if I can continue to level up Teron Brooker, we'll have the best wide receiver and running back in the history of the league. <laughs> uh, it's a bit of an overstatement right now. You know, it's a bit of a reach. Oh, what? I thought I, thought I threw it back so I could run. Oh, man. Okay. Well, we're going to have to go for this now because field goal is a guaranteed miss. And we convert. Beautiful. Drag drag right down the center of the field. And McTire is able to create separation to get open. And he makes the reception for a Miami touchdown. I think that's his second of the day. Yeah. He had the 72-yard run. 72-yard run earlier. His longest touchdown and overall reception of his career. Okay. They missed the extra point. Unless they went for two, but yeah. Either way, they do not convert their extra one or two points. Uh, it stays in an eight-point game. Uh, oh, he's coming in. Got to run away. Okay. Oh, man, that was a good pickup. I thought he would tackle me on the right side there, but we were able to get away. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a little bit uh, too far. I didn't think I could get it over to him. I didn't think he had the um, Clark would have had the arm strength to get it over the defender that far. When you know after McTire was that far down the field, we'll take a carry with Brooker. Stop the clock. We'll stop the clock, 
And I guess we'll No, we will not do anything. Okay, going for the field goal. No name is no good. Of course not. It's, of course it's no good. Come on, he's a he's a no name kicker. Oh my gosh, that that was almost picked and caught at the same time. <laughs> that was interesting. Okay. A little four yard gain for uh Teron Brooker. Let's click on that blue circle again and uh same same uh same situation there with the four yard gain. You're gonna hit him out of the backfield. And this time it's not four yards, it is four times as much. Picking up sixteen this time. Uh oh, yeah, I gotta run there. I think that's the I think that's the right decision. Yep. <laughs> My receivers are pancaking the defenders. Pancaking the defensive backs. I like it. I love it. <laughs> okay. Alright, McTire. Getting us inside the 15. And let's hit him there. Ooh, wow, that was almost a pick. My bad. Alright. Hit him. Oh, come on. He dropped that. Tire with a very rare drop, but that time, as usual, he gets into the end zone <laughs> for yet another third, uh, another touchdown. I think that's his third of the game. <clears throat> and oh, I guess we got the ball back there. Nice defensive stand overall by our team, and we are rolling. We've been rolling for the entire season. Uh, I will say, we are the best team in the NFL. We're the only undefeated team left. But just because of that, you know, it's not like we have the best players on our team. It's just that I'm the best retro ball player of all time. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. I did not mean to. I did not mean to shower pride upon myself in this video, but I guess. But I guess uh, things happen sometimes. As we disgustingly overthrow our running back. <laughs> I don't think I... I didn't think I would ever say that in my life. Disgustingly overthrow our running back. Okay. Um, McTire gets down to the one. Painful for him. As Teron Brooker gains a yard but doesn't get into the end zone there. What the heck? And it's receiving touchdown. Got the touchdown that he deserved. And we'll just take the extra point. It is now 35 to 13. Major blowout of the Vikings. Now 35 19, but they missed another extra point opportunity there. <laughs> uh, here is Tyre. Okay, Drew, come out. I actually want you to tackle me. So we can just get that. Uh, mm, yeah, I think we'll go for the touchdown here. He'll be open. Touchdown. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm, I'm um, padding the stats so much. 42 to 19 is your final score. In Minneapolis. We take this one home, as we usually do. He was on point today. Let's our coach. He looks sad. <laughs> Let's fix that. We get update upgrades from McTire and Bowers. That is very key. Stamina increase for him. And stamina increase as well for Clyde Bowers, our defensive lineman. And that is it, guys. Oh, we scored 42 points. In... We scored 42 points in two straight games. That's, that's cool. But, uh,. No, as I was saying, uh, thank you guys for watching this video, episode four of Retro Bowl franchise Miami Dolphins. Uh, yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next video. Um, I'll try to come out with it sooner next time. Sorry about the delay there. Uh, you know, it, it's been a little. It's been like a couple of weeks, I think, since I made the last video of Retro Bowl. So I'll try to stay top, stay on top of that. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. And uh, have a great rest of your day. 
I will see you in the next video.